Hello everybody, I am Shukla Nam. I am working on data analysis for the past few months here. Initially we were working on the EDS data. Now after the IIT Bombay is started. Uh, we have started working on IIC Bombay circuit. Now, after uh, I hope that you know about IIC Bombay courses. Uh, I hope you know about the IIC Bombay courses that is what is going on now. Uh, we have been introduced to all these courses and ideas in the, the morning sessions. So I will today just as a for introductory talk, I will cover the basic concepts. I will talk about two or three things. One is that data, like what kind of data we will be working on and what are the types of data. That will be my first topic. And then the second will be the technology, what we will be you know, we are going to use. And thirdly, I will talk about the projects. So now the data, um, IIT Bombay creates three kinds of data. So one is MySQL database. Second is in the MongoDB. And third is the log files. This is generated in the server directory. Log files are normally very huge and to deal with the log files, we will be using big data concept. Now MySQL is having some data which are basically users personal data, that is the student's personal data. Then enrollment data. Data. Summary data includes that is whatever whenever they have access to the course. So all those data will be generated in the log file. From there, the summary data are collected and kept the MySQL. And it will have the great information of the students also. So this is the basically MySQL data. MongoDB will have the course information. Which are the courses uh, which are um, they offered by the IIT Bombay? Then each course is what is the course structure, what are the course chapters or sessions, then what are the videos covered, then what are the uh, problems, quizzes, all those information are kept in mind. That is one kind of information. And second information is the forum data. Discussion topic, the forum will be started, uh, threads will be created. So, all those data information are kept in the forum data. So, these two kinds of information are kept on the MongoDB. And third is the log file. Log file is a normally user's access data, it is user's navigation data. So, every time user accesses the corresponding log to record will be generated in the log file. Okay. So, these are three basic kinds of things kinds of data which we will be working with. So this is about the data concept. Second, we will be talking about the technology. The technology which we will be using is Python, Django, How many of you have heard of hard data analysis? 
people of India. Have you worked in that in hard data analysis? Or just have a concept of it? Working on hard data analysis. Same for the big data, we will be taking hard group file system. Then Spark as a computing environment. We will work on the hard group. You must have heard of Spark also. Spark. Then lastly, we'll work on Spark R, which is actually a adaptation of Spark on R. So we we'll work on Spark R, and then we'll be working on a lot of visualization. Which are basically parts of R. Art is, uh, art is having huge libraries, uh, different data analytics library like classification, then wave, tree analysis, then wave, and, and all those things, articles are there in the data analytics tools. Art is having all the library plus visualization tools. It has got many visualization tools, so we'll be using the sum of them. Okay. And Spark, you know that is typically first in-memory computation. That is, hard disk is not an in-memory computation. It, is, it writes every time on the hard disk. And so it is slow, basically. So Spark is very, very fast. And so is Spark R. So this is a technology which we will be working on. Now I will be talking about the projects. So we will have three projects.
these are all mostly on the summary data. So what you have to do now, the, all the log files you have to consolidate, you have to create the Spark cluster and then put all the log data in the Spark cluster and run Spark R on that. So Spark uses RDD, that is resilient data distribution structure. So we'll be using RDD to create the data models. So this is, and then after the, this will be converting mainly to Python and Django framework. And after that, we'll be having the log, log files that will distribute into our into cluster. That is part we have to install on the cluster, Spark and Hadoop system. And then we have to distribute the log files and then work on those log files. So while working the log files, we are thinking of doing some prediction analysis, prediction and recommendation system. Like when the user is navigating, so we can see the how they are navigating. So we can do the analysis on the log file and depending on the user's navigation, that is the collected data, we can predict something for the future or recommend something like this user is using this one, so you can also use this one. So seeing the user's pattern. Okay, so this is the second and third is project futuristic. So we have to take care of any future analysis model which somebody can come up with. So that means we have to create, we have to give provision for dynamic creation of Which, uh, which are the parameters for that model, then which are the, whether it is going to create a visualization like whether it will be creating HTML file or PNG file or the, I mean, image file or Excel file, whatever it is. So, so he has to indicate all those things and then indicate this model. So the input system will take it and integrate with its own system. So in next time, you can so go to your menu and directly we load that program and run it. So these are the three, three projects which we are talking about. Are those interesting? So you, you decide yourselves. She is part of the earlier Nagesh group. On these projects, you should choose the Nagesh group. 